Okay, here we have I and Me from Red Lake Games and Indie Nova. Um, this, uh, oh, also Wish, uh, Wish Fang. Um, this is probably about the cutest puzzle platformer I have ever played. Um, so in it you play as a pair of two cats. Um, and they both move at the same time. So when one moves, the other moves. And you have to... Um, navigate them through the course to get them into their boxes. Um, so you got the ability to jump there. And um, yes, yeah, so you have to kind of, uh, you have to use them to uh, space them in such a way that you'll be able to get them in the boxes. I mean, this is a really great, uh, great puzzle game. Uh, definitely, <laughs> definitely a lot of fun. Uh, it's not too tough. It's kind of you know, just right. <laughs> but uh, this is being played on the PS4. It is cross by between the Vita uh, and the uh, PS4. So if you buy it on one, you get it on both. Uh, so it's kind of nice. If you want to play it on the go, you definitely can. Now, those little pages there will tell you um, a little bit about the, the story. So, I mean, there is, there's a story to the game that you can follow if you find those pages and want to read them. There's that. Um, some of these puzzles have gotten, uh, or do get, uh, <laughs> kind of, uh, kind of, kind of crazy. Um, I haven't made the game yet because I'm, I'm stuck on, uh, on a, a few of the puzzles, but, um, I do plan on on, uh, on beating it. It's it's just so much fun. Um, I really have nothing nothing negative to say about the game. I mean, it's a puzzle platformer that has you playing as, as two cats. I mean, <laughs> what more do you need <laughs> uh, with a uh, a puzzle platformer? Um, I will say that some of the I mean the the lack of um, being able to attack is kind of um, I'm not gonna say off-putting, but it's it's kind of um, it, I mean I, I feel that it, it kind of needs to be there, or some kind of secondary defense. Um, because when the later levels, it is quite quite a bit of uh, of trial and error when it comes to the uh, uh, enemies and of uh, being able to avoid them without getting killed, because it's a one-hit death uh, in this game. So. Now, the cats can't swim, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, despite despite its issues uh, with uh, not being able to attack, but then again, it's a puzzle game, so I understand that. But, uh, I mean, other than, you know, maybe having more than one uh, hit before you're dead, uh, definitely a, a game worth, worth picking up if you like puzzle platformers. Definitely an awesome game. I've had a lot of fun with it. Uh, the environments are, are nice to look at. Uh, the cats are cute. Um, everything about the game is just it's just pretty pretty great. You know, it's not a game where you're you know racing against the clock or anything. It's a very uh, relaxing game. Until you get stuck. <laughs> then it becomes less of a relaxation and um, more uh, frustration, I suppose. But uh, but still, it's still fun. But yeah, I find this game has a lot of trial and error. And that's okay. Puzzle, puzzle games are supposed to be that way. You know, if puzzle games weren't, weren't the way they are, you know, people wouldn't play them. If there's no challenge to them, nobody would play them. So if you like puzzle games, you like games like... Uh, oh, what can I compare this to? Um, um, maybe... No, I was going to say Lemmings, but I wouldn't go, go that far. But if you like games like Lemmings, you like games like Mario vs. Donkey Kong, and other puzzle games... This is definitely worth checking out. I think it's like five bucks uh, on uh, uh, PSN. 
It's not very expensive at all, and it's a lot of fun to play. This is one of the most more frustrating puzzles right here. Uh, being able to time the, <laughs> being able to space them uh, to the point where you'll be able to land the jumps, um, it's just tedious. But you know, if you, if you space them out just right, you'll get it. They'll go in their boxes. But a lot of trial and error here. <laughs> this is one of the puzzles that frustrated me early on. <laughs> so you got one and not the other. There we go. Got it. So as you can see, this game has a lot of different uh, different elements to it, different obstacles, um, you know, things that that keep the puzzles interesting. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, uh, end the review here, um, or shortly hereafter. Um, I do want to thank um, thank very much to the uh, developer and well, actually be the publisher. <laughs> For allowing me to view this game on my channel, um, it's been a lot of fun. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen, and if you like this game, definitely consider picking it up. It's a great buy uh, for those that, are, that uh, love puzzle games. And uh, yeah, I uh, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. And uh, as always, until next time, take care and happy gaming. <laughs>